There's a new buzzword in the medical community that's helping cancer patients live longer. It's called precision medicine. The Huntsman Cancer Institute says it's a priority when treating difficult cases. I was able to see firsthand how these targeted therapies are saving lives. I think you look great. I can't imagine you're going. To Just looking at David Perry, you'd never know he was sick. Are we doing a triathlon soon? What are we doing, David? Trying to do things that I would normally do. Go to the gym whenever I can, work as much as I can, play with the grandchildren as much as I can. But in 2018, he suffered a seizure and would eventually be given a bleak prognosis. December 30th, 2018, I went to bed in my own bed and I woke up several hours later in the intensive care, at which point I was informed that I had a brain tumor. Dr. Joe Mendez, David's doctor, specializes in neuro-oncology and is one of only four doctors in the state of Utah to treat patients with similar brain tumors. So I do two full days of clinic. He explained to me how important it is to look at the entire person. We're trying to tailor a treatment uh, to the patient themselves, so not necessarily um, generalize the patient to every other patient that we're treating. Precision medicine is the opposite of a one-size-fits-all mentality and instead takes into account an individual's unique genetic makeup as well as other factors. In doing so, we're able to design a treatment that specifically is going to target or go after or attack a specific change in that person's tumor hence the precision. In David's case, he was a perfect candidate for an experimental new drug. He enrolled in a clinical trial called Indigo, hoping to win the fight against so fate. The objective is just to put the tumor to sleep. Put it to sleep. Which is success. It was a major victory. People typically think of cancer treatment as a yucky stuff, the, the, the radiation, feeling very sick, not being able to work. But for me, it's the game changer because I don't have any of that. And his tumor? The tumor is asleep, the drug is working, this is the game changer, not just for, for me, but for everybody else that has an oligodendroglioma. This is very hopeful, and a cure is found, in my opinion. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, how exciting is it to be at this point and to see these type of results? It's a huge win in our field in our oncology. We haven't had a, a drug really be developed or FDA approved or even shown to be positive on a phase three clinical trial in decades. And so to have this advance uh, is pretty phenomenal. I'm on a drug that is working, so there's no need to be afraid of the future. I can have a normal life. I can go to work and enjoy the grandchildren. Everything's looking bright for me. For now, the drug that David was given is still in the trial phase, and there's no estimate on when it might receive FDA approval. Dr. Mendez says precision medicine will continue to evolve, and as we dive deeper into the science on a genetic level, doctors can create better treatments for cancer patients.